Hi everybody, today is my first time um, feeding the goats by myself without a grown up. And here's Kylie, she's gonna <laughs> help me milk her. So yeah, let's get, let's go up there and see what we can do. Hi everybody, now we are open this on the, open this first. Yeah, I can do that. Make sure you lock that door. She gets on me like that sometimes. I'm gonna squeeze the bottle just a tiny bit. Not that much. Good girl, she's super soft. You can turn the camera off now. No, you just leave it on, okay. So, um, put it up to me. She, loves me because I'm definitely her mom. I didn't know I was gonna be, but I really did want her. Look how much she drank. That is a good bit. When she licks her mouth, she will jump up on me, and um, when I'm not paying attention, she will jump on, up on me. She will bite my fingers to see if there's any bumps in here, but she really loves Lovins a lot and fern. I mean, this is fern and that other. Th this one over there, she she's coming out of her shell just a tiny bit. I can see. She's almost fully grown. She's doing a great job eating stuff. She eats grain too. So this this little one, she eats grain too. She loves eating. Look at that. I'm so proud of her. Also, another thing, make sure you have minerals. That's medicine for them, just in case. If they um, get, well, if they just need it to keep them healthy. And also, you're going to need baking soda to keep them from their stomach hurting and stuff like that. As you can hear, the pigs are mad. They think we have food for them, but we're only here for the goats. Look how much. Look how much that is, guys. That is so good. She eats on my fingers. That means she's hungry. But you definitely, every single time you come in here, you want to pat it down. Pat their stuff down so you know that, that they have been eating and you just leave their water alone until it needs filled back up. We got a couple plans to do. Yeah, you feel your horns. Yeah. She did so well. One more. But also, one thing, she moves her head a lot and she loves lullabies. So I sing her every single lullaby I can think of. I say twinkle, twinkle, little star, and stuff. Lots of stuff. Um, but yes, if you want goats, you gotta get everything fixed up for them before um, you get them in. If you know that it's gonna be quick to get them, then get their food figured out and stuff like that. But as you can see what I'm sitting on, it's a bucket. So she, she always comes to me, she's used to milking now, she always comes to me when um, I need a bottle feeder. So she just comes to me wherever I go. But she whines when we leave. Yeah. 
You want to keep their head up, not all the way up, but you want to make sure that it's up. You can't hold them like this with their heads over here and stuff because that, that will go into their lungs and you don't want that to ha happen. And you especially can't let one goat be alone because then they'll just die. But if you have two goats, that's okay. If you have three, that's even better. So, but we only have two for just the start. He is really good. Okay, I gotta check her 10,000 times, I guess, to keep her, if she's hungry or not. Look at that, how much she's drank. She's drank it. Of course, of course you do. Of course. Of course you do. Good girl. Aww. What you doing? Huh? But yeah, you want to make everything for them? Uh, you think we're going to leave, don't you? But yeah, this is my first time going up here with Kylie. Without a grown-up, I think I'm just going to do this alone. We're only on lunch time, so. You want to have brushes, medicine, and all kinds of things you can do with dog. But if they have like a rash, you want to spray stuff on them. my first time doing it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're out here in my shop and we're getting ready to work on this trailer. This is a two horse trailer, well it used to be. We're going to switch it over to be our livestock trailer and we're going to use it to take our feeder pigs to the butcher here in two and a half months and then we'll use it for whatever else Kelsey decides that we're going to get. But uh, I have to do some things to it first to make it uh, road worthy and able to haul animals. So we're going to work on those things and then after we get everything done that will make it be able to haul, uh, we'll go ahead and go to a way station and all I need is a way slip and I can take that to the BMV and uh, they'll put a license plate on it. So uh, let me show you what we need to do to it. Okay, so back here it appears that this piece of uh, angle iron is all good going across here. But when you come over on this side you can see it's, it's rotted out pretty, pretty nasty on this side. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it out and we're going to weld in a new piece of angle iron. And then uh, the guy who sold me this gave me this piece of uh, pipe right here. And so what I'm going to do after I get that angle iron in, I'm going to weld this pipe to this pipe and make a bumper all the way across. So that's the goal for this evening. Okay, so we got that angle iron out. There's the old one. See how rusted out that was? There's the new one right there. Look how much rust and flakes came off there. So I'm going to go ahead and grind these edges, clean them up, and then clean up this mess. And then uh, I think I'm going to have to add some longer cables for my welding leads because they're, they're not going to reach this side over here. So I'll go ahead and do that. Well, once again, everything didn't go to plan. I went to go to weld that angle iron on the other night and I realized my uh, welding leads weren't long enough. So I went ahead and ordered a 50 foot uh, extension cord for my welder. I think it's supposed to show up tomorrow. So in the meantime, I'm gonna start wiring up new lights and I wanna do some uh, spray painting and some uh, patching up on uh, the trailer on the front. So we're, we're just going to work on that stuff for today, then uh, hopefully we'll be able to weld here in the next couple of days.
Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start painting inside here. I'm going to paint the, the top part of it white and then the bottom part of it uh, silver or gray. I just want to brighten it up in here and uh, help protect it more from rusting out. <laughs> Alright, sorry about the noise. I got a fan running out the garage door to try to get air moving in here. But uh, that's brightening up the inside of the trailer pretty good. It needs a couple more coats. We'll do that later. Uh, what I want to do now is take out the, the old tail lights. And I want to take off this uh, light bar up here. I'm, I'm going to get rid of it. And then we'll go ahead and start uh, running some wiring. Alright, so here's a new light. And I'm going to put this gasket in first. Might be easier. Okay, good fit. And then we want the plug down the bottom. Perfect. Okay, so I've been fighting with the camera and the wiring, but I think I finally have it uh, right over here. I got my grounding wire, which is grounding the frame, and then uh, that'll go to my grounding wire on the light that is also connected to the frame. And it took me a little while to figure that out, but I've got this lead here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick this lead into this plug with the white wire, maybe. Yeah, see the white wire here. Now I'm going to touch that to the negative part of the battery and then I've got uh, this one, this yellow one here is the turn signal for the left side and this is the running lights. So I'm going to touch them to the positive one at a time and I'll be able to look back here see I have a mirror set up so I can see the light I'll probably have to raise you guys up so you can see it so I have a rig job here I got uh, my grandmother's uh, vanity's mirror back there so I can see the light so I'm gonna go ahead and let's try let's try the running lights so connect the lead to the negative and then to the positive. Whoop. And there is light. There's the running lights. Now let's try the turn signal. And there is the turn signal. And it'll blink when the truck tells it to. Oh, yes. Yes. No, it's on. It's on now. That's, yeah, that's but okay, yeah, it wasn't on before, but it's on now. That's right, and this is but it's okay. That's yep. Tail. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yep. Good job. All right, so that took longer than I thought, but I've never wired up a trailer before. It's pretty simple once you figure it out. Uh, for inside the trailer, I'm going to get a can of paint and I'm just going to brush it on because it doesn't seem like the spray paint's covering that well. And uh, we got a lot more to do with this trailer. And then after we're done with that, we're going to go up top here in between the barn and the garage and uh, fix up a loading and offloading ramp and gate. And the greenhouse, we decided we're going to move where we wanted to put it before and we're going to move it to the other side of the house. So watch for that. 
But I hope you liked this video, and if you would, give us a thumbs up. And until next time, everybody, thanks for watching.